so you started writing and suddenly you start losing the momentum to keep moving you become discouraged and if on check you may soon abandon your writing why does this happen my name is Ngozi Edema and I help busy moms become self-published authors. Here are my top three reasons why I some may lose the momentum when they start writing and stop working on their book. Number one, self-doubt. Number two, perfectionism. And number three, writer's block. Let us take a look at each of them to see how you can fix them. Self-doubt. Self-doubt can be a challenging experience the constant belief you are not good enough or your work is not good enough. How can you fix this? Number one, recognize your self-doubts. The first step in coping with first self-doubt is to acknowledge that it is present. This will help bring it to your fore constantly and you then take action in overcoming it. Number two, challenge your negative thoughts. Often, self-doubt is the result of negative talk. Take a step backwards. Ask yourself questions about the thoughts. Are they true? Look at things objectively and challenge any negative assumptions you might have made. For instance, if, you, if your doubt is, no one will ever like my book or like what I am writing, ask yourself, have, have I spoken with everyone and they said this to me? Chances are you never spoke with anyone, so shush that voice and keep writing. Number three, Focus on your strengths. Make a list of your strengths, your accomplishments, to remind yourself of them when you start to doubt yourself. This can help boost your confidence and remind you you are capable of achieving goals. Number four, take action. Sometimes just taking action is the best way in overcoming self-doubt. Break things down to small, manageable, bite-sized bits and work towards achieving your goals. This can help you feel more in control and build the momentum towards your desired outcome. If you start winning in little things, you gain the confidence to keep pushing. Number five, seek support. Talk to family, friends, or get a therapist that can help you to overcome your self-doubt. This will help you have a fresh perspective and they will offer you the support and the encouragement that you need. Remember, self-doubt and insecurities don't go away. But if you do not quit, you become better at managing them. Number two, perfectionism. Perfectionism is a mindset that can be both helpful and harmful. While it can motivate you to do great things, it can also lead you to unrealistic expectations, self-criticism and fear of failure. Here are some strategies that may help you in dealing with perfectionism. Number one, recognize the costs. It can be exhausting and self-defeating. Acknowledge this negative impact, the negative impact that it has in your life, such as stress, anxiety, and the fear of failure. Who wants those? So throw out perfectionism. Number two, challenge your thinking. Perfectionism is based on irrational thoughts and beliefs that you, you must always be perfect or that mistakes are unacceptable. Challenge this belief by looking for evidence to the contrary. Number three, practice self-compassion. Instead of criticizing yourself for not being perfect, treat yourself with kindness, understanding, and patience, just the way you would treat a friend. Number four, set realistic goals. Set goals that are challenging but achievable. And allow for the possibility of mistakes and setbacks. This can help you break free from the all or nothing thinking that often accompanies perfectionism and stores growth. Number five, embrace mistakes. Mistakes are a natural part of learning. Instead of seeing them as failures, view them as opportunities to grow. Number six, seek support. Talk to a family member, a friend, or get a therapist to help you as you make your way through the struggles of perfectionism. Understanding that you do not have to be perfect to write a book and mistakes can be corrected. The third reason why some may be discouraged is writer's block. Here is why you may be having writer's block. 
and this is what you can do to fix it. Perfectionism is one of the main causes of writer's block. Remind yourself you do not have to be perfect to succeed and you are only working on the first draft and that can be edited. Then apply the following strategies as you go. Number one, take regular breaks. Go for short breaks from your writing to help you to overcome writer's block. Step away from your decks and do something that you enjoy doing like listening to music or going for a walk. This will help clear your mind and when you come back to your writing, you come back with a fresh perspective. Number two, change your environment. You do not always have to write in your home. You can go outside your home and look for scenery that can inspire you. Change to a, a different location, a coffee shop, a library or a park. Number three, use a technique called free, free writing. Free writing is you write continuously without worrying about grammar, spelling or punctuation. The goal is to get your ideas down first without judging yourself or becoming self-critical. This can help you generate the ideas and break through writer's block. Number four, work on work in blocks of time. Blocks of time of 10 or 15 minutes. Focusing on your writing within that time will help you to overcome writer's block. Number five, outline your work. When you outline your work into and organize your thoughts into small, easy to manage bits, it helps you to break the writing process into what you can do. Number six, read and research. Sometimes reading and researching your topic can help you to have a fresh perspective on whatever you are writing. So read more on your topic. Once you know what you're doing, it helps you to generate new ideas. Everyone, everyone meets roadblocks, but don't give up. Just maneuver your way around the roadblock and you'll be fine. Keep writing and I will see you in the next video.